Just last week, Kobe Bryant ended his career not only with the win, but with that astonishing 60 points to help the Lakers be victorious over the Jazz. One event that many college football players get excited about is the NFL Draft. Now, at the FCS level, players are not respected until they've proven themselves amongst NFL competition. Here at this chapel, a vigil will be held for Smith at 6 p.m. Friends and family will be in attendance. This gathering will also be open to the public. For NFL News, I'm Alpha Jalo. Welcome to Who's Got the Juice. I'm Alpha Jalo alongside two hosts for the J&K Show, Broadway and Showtime Sanders. What's good? I have them two with me to explain what does it mean to have the juice. Before we get into that, we got to talk basketball. March Madness just ended. Who's going for Carolina? Yes, we do, Keeler. And even though we're still in the midst of spring sports, football is still king. Tough loss losing the guard up 34 to 20, but what a great game for you. What was your mindset going into that game? After 20 seasons in the NBA, Brian has had much success, winning five NBA championships, two-time NBA Finals MVP, the league's MVP in 2008, 18-time All-Star, scoring just over 33,000 points which ranks Bryant the third best in the NBA history in scoring points. His legacy will always be remembered. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for being with us. This past weekend, the Flames golf team. Kobe Bryant will always be remembered. For many young players who step out on the court will at least try to emulate his game. Mamba out, as Kobe would say. For Lynchburg Sports News, I'm Alpha Jalo. The Liberty women's tennis team has made history by making it to the Big South champion match for the first time in program history. One new addition head coach Turner Gill added to the 2014 season that continue is highlighting players of the week. This feature honors players who play well in the recent game. Many people have been expressing their condolences on social media, including Saint Mike McGlynn. A man loses his life over a collision. A wife becomes a widow over a argument. Three children lose their dad over nothing. Thank you, Kaelin. And we unveil the week's top performers in Warm, Hot, and Fuego. That's when Game On returns. Lucas Holder being injured earlier this week. You had to play center. How were you able to adapt to that? We are not done yet. Coming up, a special friend visit the Liberty softball program. That's when Game On returns. Here at Williams Stadium with the Flames defending their turf, being 5-0 at home, the scenes will bring that same demeanor to the NFL. For Lynchburg Sports News, I'm Alpha Jalo. Let's take a look at Defensive Player of the Week from Week 4, Alpha Jalo, who had nearly nine tackles and an interception that made ESPN Sports Center. What a game for that stud. Over to you, Brandon. 